Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going through a mini game that you can find in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You yeah. all right. Can we that? What? <laughs> Ignore that. So we're in a tent, right? And we have two options. So let's play this one first. Want to play a game? Sure. Oh, good. I'll draw a card. Choose what suit you think I drew. I'm going to go with spade because that's my favorite. Not spade. Club's my favorite, not spade. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I got it wrong. Okay, let's keep going till I get it right. That's spade. Oh, yay. I got it right. Oops. Let me do that. This one's... Let's play this one now. Want to play a game? Yes, I do. Oh, good. I'm going to draw a card. I pulled a two. Do you think the next card will be higher or lower than two? Let's go higher. I pulled a ten. Wow, you guessed right. Woo! All right. And at the beginning, I showed you some, like... Actually, no, no not at the beginning. I'm going to show you now. Here's some footage of how it runs. And screenshots of how it runs, because I ran out of space on my Switch, of how it runs in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Right, so let me show you how I did this. We're going to start with the suits one, because it is a lot easier. I want to play a game? Yes or no? No. There's nothing. Woo. No. They say, oh yes? No, draw a card, and they say, a random barrier one through four. Then you choose which one you drew. And it's conditional brands. If card equals suit one, you got it right. If not, you got it wrong. Suit two, suit three, suit four. And that's that's all it is. It's a really, really, really simple event. It's just reliant on this random variable generated, which you do by creating new variables, select the variable, and hit random one through four. It will automatically start you with zero, and zero counts as its own number, so make sure you set it to one. Now on to the slightly more complicated one. Want to play a game? Yes? Oh good. Control switch A, no does nothing. Stop switch A brings me to this, this is all set up the same, the first on auto run. So here it controls two variables, the card number that they tell you, and the card number you will guess. Here, I have it set between two and nine. You do not have to do this. I just did it to make the game a little more interesting because if they draw a run, obviously the next one they draw is going to be higher. But uh, they tell you what number they pulled, and then do you think the next number will be higher or lower? If you guess higher, uh, but first a contingency. If these two numbers equal the same thing, it'll say, "Oops, that's the same card." Let's try again, and they'll draw another card. Which should actually do this. Let's actually Do this, and then not loop, but label. That should be jump to label, not label. There we go. All right. So that just makes sure that it's not the same card and that'll send you to the top and run you through the same thing. And that's actually do this here too. Then jump to label here too. Then 
There we go. All right, problem fixed. Sorry about that. So yeah, if it's wrong, it'll if it's the same number, it'll do it again, and then you go through it with your same selection. Um, and I do it right here. If card number is less than card number two, wow, you guessed right. You guessed higher. Otherwise, uh, it shows you the number they pulled and said they win. If you guess lower, same thing, except for card number is less, is greater than card number two. Uh, the way I remember it is the alligator eats the bigger number. And it shows I pulled a blank. Do it right now. This little code bit right here, eh, is the variable. So you can do this two different ways. And this is with the new update. So keep that in mind. But you can go to insert control character variable. And then you do have to go look and see what variable number this is. I see here 75. And then you just type in the variable number and it'll show you the number that it gets from that. But then after it goes through all of this, it turns this off and goes back to this page. And yeah, that's all there is to it. A pretty simple mini game and I honestly enjoy it because there is no skill involved it is completely luck and sometimes you just want to turn your brain off and make a random guess <laughs> but really thank you all so much for watching and if you have any questions things you'd like to see me attempt anything involving RPG Maker let me know in the comments down below and thank you all so much for watching bye